Hi guys, I'm Teresa and I just finished making Butterick 5030, this dress right here. When I first purchased this pattern, I thought that it was a traditional wrap dress um, and it's not. It is a fake wrap dress. So this the tie that you see in the picture, that is just a sash that you tie around your waist and you make, which I did not end up making that. Um, but I did make view C with these little wonderful butterfly sleeves. My measurements are a size 22. I made a size 22 and it fits okay. However, um, I did mess up. It's supposed to have a band that goes back around the neck and down the front. And I accidentally sewed it on the, like the inside curve instead of the outside curve. So I had to flip it and use it as facings or seam rip, which I did not want to do. I did not have the time to sit down and seam rip that big long seam. I wasn't doing it. And I don't regret not doing it because I feel like if I would have left it, it might have ended up being too big. When right now, I can't wear it without a camisole underneath. Um, well, I should say I can't wear it comfortably without a camisole underneath. I did put this little spider button here so that I can button it closed. And this is okay, like, I feel like if I needed to, for some reason, I could wear it without a camisole underneath, but I would want to slip because I feel like there's just not a lot of fabric covering me. Um, also, because I didn't do the band right, and I flipped it and turned it as, inter as facing for it, it left about this much extra on both sides of the skirt, and I ended up pleating those here. I ended up pleating it here, and I think, Somewhere in the back, yeah, somewhere in the back here, I have some really small pleats that I put in um, to make up for that extra fabric. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so I put the button in here. The only issue is that it pulls, it pulls the sleeves forward and I feel like it kind of looks funny. Like nobody would probably notice, but I would, I notice it when I'm wearing it because it makes it slightly uncomfortable to move my shoulders around. Um, so I prefer to not button it and just kind of leave it open and have the freedom to move my arms any way that I choose. The directions were pretty good. It went together really easily. I think that the directions could be a little bit more clear or maybe have better pictures that you're supposed to sew the, the long edge instead of the inside edge. But when I went back and read through it, I don't know, I feel like it's user error, not necessarily pattern error, but they could be they could be clearer, they could have made the directions a little bit better, but the directions aren't bad. Um, so I do recommend this pattern. I think it's a great dress, I love it. I will end up wearing this and incorporating it into my daily life. I feel pretty in it. Um, because I messed up the, the band on it, uh, the, the facing was too high and the, the top went down, like it should be about here. And if you see, it kind of curves up a little bit, and that's because I had to take some of the fabric off um, in order to get the facings to work right. So, like, I don't know if you, how well you can see this, but um, I had to cut, like, this much or so off of the bodice in order to get it to fit. And it has a button on the inside. See, it opens up like this. And you button it here. And here. And I feel like it's fairly, oh, yeah, that's fun. I feel like it's fairly slim, like slimming on me. If I turn sideways, I'm a little bit conscious of how big I am around the middle, uh, but it's not too bad. It's a relatively flattering dress. I'm glad that I made it. I'm glad I have it. I am going to make this pattern again, but I was thinking I would do it with a plaid, uh, maybe do a different sleeve and do the collar and it'll look like a completely different dress. So that's another another reason why I really like this pattern because I can use it again and there's lots of different options without really having to change the design a whole lot and you get a completely different dress, which is nice. Uh, the fabric that I used, I'm not sure. <laughs> I am not sure what kind of fabric this is. I used this fabric once to make a skirt for my mom and it's some sort of fashion fabric. It has a slight texture to it, like but just ever so slight. It moves really nice and it feels really nice on my skin. So whatever it is, I like it. Because I messed up the band, 
I don't know if it messed up how the facing sits, but I ended up doing a hemming stitch and I stitched down the, the facing all the way on the front and around the back and down, down this side. Um, just to make it more comfortable when I wear it and not have to worry about the facings like popping out and being all weird. I'm happy with it. I do recommend this pattern. Um, the directions could be a little bit better when it comes to sewing that band on, but if you mess it up, you could just do what I did and use it as facing and it's fine. All right, and that's all I can think of to say about this. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.